And President Muhammad Buhari has extended the tenure of the Inspector General of Police, Usman al Khalibaba to avoid his retirement midway into the 2023 general elections. The Minister of Police Affairs, Muhammad Dingyadi, made this known after the first Federal Executive Council meeting of the year at the Presidential Villa, Abuja. Dingyadi, who said Baba already had an appointment letter extending his term in office, added that the Police Act of 2020 had changed the rules for an RGP's retirement. Well, this next report has more details. It is the first council meeting of the year after the last meeting held on December 21st, 2022. In an unusual development, over 20 ministers and the ministers of state are present at the meeting. The meeting is presided over by Vice President Yemi Simbajo as the president is away attending a forum in Mauritania. The meeting begins in amongst several members presented and approved are those in the ministries of police affairs, aviation and environment. During the briefing, the police affairs minister debunks speculations that the inspector general of police will proceed on retirement before the general elections. By the provision of uh, Police Act 2020, uh, the IG is now supposed to have a, 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 a kind of four-year period and Mr. President has already given him a letter of appointment in that regard. So the issue of uh, IG uh, going out during this uh, election period does not arise. Council also approved a sum of 1.4 billion naira for the procurement of vehicles for the hydrocarbon pollution remediation project in Ogoniland River State. Minister of Environment Mohammed Abdullahi, who disclosed this, said the vehicles were required for effective supervision of the projects at polluted sites. We are going to inspect on a regular basis uh, experts from outside the country. Uh, there's a need to provide project vehicles so that they can effectively uh, inspect, supervise, and monitor the remediation exercise. So, FEC today approved the sum of um, 1 billion 354 million uh, 16,250 naira only. Presenting his memo, Minister of Aviation Hadi Sirika said FEC also approved the memorandum that revised the estimated total cost and augmentation contract for procurement and installation of instrument landed system in the Port Harcourt International Airport, Kano International Airport and Castina Airport. This contract was uh, procured earlier and uh, awarded. Unfortunately, due to fluctuations in foreign exchange, and of course, the time it, it took, cost of items have increased tremendously. And that's why we are back in council, revising it with additional 546,109,336 uh, Naira and 33 Kobo. While expressing optimism that the Nigerian aviation industry will soon progress into local manufacturing of aircraft, the aviation minister also revealed FEC approved the sum of 2.3 billion naira for the commencement of a local assembly of aircraft at Nigerian College of Aviation Technology, Zaria, Kaduna State. Mary Kanu, TV360, Nigeria.